going on? Coach Kyrie is in the building. Team Taurus, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm right here and um, I'm up in the office tonight, late night. Just got finished having some really good conversations about expanding my business. I'm really happy about that. Um, upping my value. I'm over the whole impoverititis. And this message is for black women. Everybody should be watching. You know, I don't care if it's a white woman, a black woman, a Chinese woman, black men, white men, whoever. But specifically, this one is for black women. So this is what is about to happen. And I'm about to have this message. Sharing is caring. I'd appreciate it if you share this on your page. I know it's late night, but in the morning, you're going to be ready to come back and catch this replay. All right. So this one is all about um, the black woman's value, her self-worth and um, healing. So always, you know, I'm, and I'm going to tell y'all a story. I'm going to put my timer on and <laughs> to make sure that I don't get in get too long winded. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please share this. Press one if you um, have shared it or if you're going to share it I will get a paper and pen too so you can take some notes all right if you're a black woman or you know a black woman who has an issue about self value uh, value or her worth or healing any of those three words that black women are always throwing around and that are using this one is for you or it's for them and it's for the black men who love them this is also for the black men who love them. What's up, Patty? What's up, Geneva? What's up, Maria? Thanks for coming in, Darla. What's up, Eve? The Jewel Hunter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, caring and sharing. I see you, Crystal. What's going on, Team Pisces, Miami? Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Abdul Kool, Tafalata, Wabazoon, Gamma Faragoon, Shalel Kalum. I am in the love of all, and all love is in me. I am a part of all, and all is a part of me. I am one with all, and all is one with me. I can succeed as a part of all and fail as an individual. I can be all that I wish in all as long as my wish is to stay in all. I am never alone. All is, I am. All can, I can. All does, I do. It's All right, so... Recently, and I have these, I have these happen all the time, these incidents about black women who don't think they're pretty. I'm going to start, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start right there. So they hear someone say, give them a compliment. They give them a compliment and say, oh, you're pretty, right? And because of whatever's happened in the past, they bring that with them in this incident, in a fresh incident from someone giving them a compliment and start to wonder, well, what do you mean I'm pretty? What do you mean I'm pretty? Why would you ask someone if they just told you you're pretty and then you doubt that you are pretty? It's because you have a self-worth and value um, issue going on. What's going on, Victor? I see Kanisha's in the building. Thanks, everybody, for joining. What's up, E? Thank you, Ariel, for joining. Thank you, Carol. Peace to the God divine, the fourth letter. Please share this if you care. If you know a black woman or a black man who needs to hear this message, please share. All right? Um, so a lot of women have been with very meter, mediocre males who have not appreciated or recognized their worth and their value. And these women have been um, subjected to some very bad degrading programming where they don't really feel 100 about themselves. And then they stay in that relationship compromise themselves, compromise them their value and sell themselves short. And then when they have to leave this relationship for a period of healing, they reject anything that comes in the form, what I say from God or from the creator through another person to them to help support them in their healing. So while you're in your healing from someone who gave you a piss poor programming, about 
you not being beautiful or them not respecting you or them not um, understanding your power. Now you're in a period alone by yourself trying to um, do your healing process and someone comes and says, you're pretty. I think you're attractive. Or they give you some type of compliment on your body or whatever. Now, some people say, oh, Kair, you, you know you got to give a person some time. You got to give a person some time because they're not used to that. I say that's an excuse. Excuses are tools of the incompetent. Bridges that lead nowhere, monuments to nothing. People who use excuses, black women, white women, white men, black men, business people, entrepreneurs, whatever. When you use excuses, you go nowhere. Therefore, I have none. I am accountable. If you're going to heal from something and change the dynamic, you have to become accountable as quick as possible. You are not always under attack. This is very, 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 very serious. You are not always under attack. You're not always under attack because someone gave you a compliment but you don't know how to take it. And you say, oh, and then you return the compliment with a memory of someone degrading you. Someone degraded you in the past and you took that memory of in the past and came to now and was like, you know what? I can't take this compliment, this positive energy. It's just positive energy coming to support your sales and then you're saying, I'm going to reject it because someone or something in my past did not agree or line up with what you're telling me now. If it's positive, then eat it. If it's healthy for you, then eat it. But this whole thing about I don't value myself. You shouldn't call me pretty. You shouldn't call me sexy. You shouldn't say that my body is gorgeous. Do you know how many women I have told that they are so fine and good looking and the first thing they try to do is demean themselves and say, oh, I still got this little pouch. Oh, I got to get back to the gym. Oh, I gained four pounds in the last two months. Oh, I'm trying to. She's compromising her cells. Her mental is malfunctioning to the point where she's running off the wall of suffering program that is built in to devalue her. And then later, she has to compromise her integrity or her value on something else when she actually needs to be receiving. She needs to be receiving money. She needs to be receiving love. She needs to be receiving leadership. She needs to be receiving something that's going to aid her but her programming is forcing her to push it away. And black women are at the top of this list. They are at the very top of this list because they get in survival mode or you get into survival mode and don't know when to turn survival mode off. Because you can't coexist with a king if you're constantly in survival mode and your defenses are up. So it's this whole thing of, ooh, you romanticize the ideal of what your ideal situation wants to be, but you don't think it could happen in an instant. You don't think your ideal situation that you have been romanticizing for years and years and years could happen in an instant. And then when it does happen in an instant, you reject it because of the poor wall of suffering programming that you are wearing like lotion. You're wearing it like a skin care treatment. You like took a shower, washed all the dirt off, and then grabbed the bottle full of wall of suffering lotion and put it all over you. Why are you hitting the hearts, Chloe? Chloe, why are you hitting the hearts? And then you say, I don't, I'm, I'm confused about why I'm, you know what I'm saying, um, why I'm not valuing myself. Hmm? 
You're confused about why you're not valuing yourself. You're not valuing yourself is because you're not practicing receiving assistance. The black woman, if you're black and watching this, you are too defensive. The wounded tigress, you're the tigress. You could be the golden tigress. You could be the goddess tigress. But you're the wounded tigress trying to heal. You got in your mind somewhere what this ideal situation looks like. But you are rejecting when it comes because you don't value yourself. How many... And the picture I posted about value today in black women was a very attractive woman who was, you know, who's a model. She was, you know, it, 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 it's nothing wrong with what she had on. She didn't have on many clothes. She was looking gorgeous. But I have seen so many women get in front of the camera and let the camera make them feel good, but have very low self-esteem. Why, why, why do you have low self-esteem? Here's the picture right here on my. Here, here's the picture I posted. Do you think d does she have high self-esteem or does she have low self-esteem? Does she value herself? Now it's not because of what she has on that she she could think very high of herself and she could think very low of herself. I think she thinks I, I think very highly of her. I think this is a beautiful picture. But I also know women who pose for pictures like this who have very low self-esteem. Why are you having low self-esteem at any time, point, period? When do you let low self-esteem and low vibrations of value go? When do, when do you let them go? When do you let them go? When do you stop saying, I'm not worthy for a king or anybody to tell me I look good or I got a fat booty or I'm sexy? Why is everything either putting you on the defensive or you taking something offensive or like someone's degrading you? But you want your man to do all these things to you. You can't tell by looking at a picture what her self-esteem is. And right, survival mode versus thrival mode. Where are you at? When you are in survival mode and you're in wounded tigress, the world is trying to appreciate you and you're busy self-sabotaging yourself. You're going to cause disease in yourself. When you answer someone and reply to someone, oh, you look so good. Oh, you so fly. Oh, you so fine. Oh, I want to sop you up with a biscuit. Oh, my God. You're so, you're so. And then you talk about, oh, my stomach. You know, I got these little pounds around here. People don't, you know, wait a minute. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm not ready yet. You're ready. You're ready right now. You're ready when the ready came. Who sent the person? What sent the person? What set up the event? Here's an opportunity for you. Here's a situation. Everybody type in hashtag situation. Everybody type hashtag situation. Type hashtag situation. Situation. You have so many situations that come and provide you with opportunities every day to make a different choice. You can make a different choice when the situation presents itself. When the situation presents itself, all you have to do is what? Be an opportunist for the high end, not the low end. A lot of black women have taken the opportunity to choose the low vibration. I'm not good enough. You can't help me. I can't let you lead me. I've always been doing it myself. My husband when he, my husband said this when I was married to him. I'm not with him no more, but he's still in my head. My ex-boyfriend didn't appreciate me. My father didn't appreciate I know all that. I know all that. I'm not being hard. I'm not taking none of that away from you. But in your resolve to heal, 
You must let another doctor come in to give you some healing. And then the next thing that goes on is you start rejecting sex and you start making things that are beautiful in nature, dirty in nature. No, I'm not saying, and this is a really good one right here. I've had um, women clients who have not had sex for you know, two years, three years, four years, and I say, you should have sex. Everybody can type that. You should have sex. Period. Or I should say you should get you some. Period. And guess what these women reply to me with, with the low vibration. I'm not getting ready to have sex with just anybody. I can't be having sex with all these men out here. I didn't say have, me, have sex with all these men out here. That's, that's not what I said. All I said was you should have sex. You should get you some. Nothing about you should have sex with every man that comes around you. You should go back to the last person who hurt you and have sex. But that's how they heard it. That's how they heard it. And that's how they came back as an excuse and took an opportunity to go negative. Women, black women specifically, you cannot advance or rise, raise your vibration up if you are seizing opportunities for healings to sabotage by the words coming out of your mouth. Get control of your thoughts. See, the emotions of a woman and her thoughts are so closely linked together, way more than that of a man, that I understand it takes more time, but I can't give you no more room and leeway and just let you just uh, piss, piss opportunities away when nobody's calling you on your stuff because men like me need you. Men like me, powerful black kings, need women like you to get your stuff together so other women will see you getting your stuff together and they'll get their stuff together for the men in their area who are like me. It's a lot of it's a lot of Kairs out here. It's a lot of kings that's striving, doing things, um, being in different places, making things happen. You see what I'm saying? And we need a partner who is capable of being a queen and bossing up and traveling around the world and making things pop off. However, if you don't fix it then you are the reason that the nation is not rising any higher financially than it is because you don't have value in yourself and you're living in so much fear that you're compromising the men who are attempting to king you and queen you. He's trying to queen you and put a queen crown on you and you're saying, I'm not worthy, I'm not good. Yo, if the if, if, if the crown's a little big, you can grow into it. You can add some hair and grow into it. You can straighten up your back. Suck in your stomach. And put your big girl panties on and grow into it. But if you don't, instead, and, and, and I say this because I hear this excuse, especially in, in the state of California. There are no good black men in California. They all like white women. They all like, um, they all want um, Latinos. They don't want black women. No, it's you. It's you that's uttering that out of your mouth. You're the one saying that. You're the one misusing your magic and causing it to be true. So the black man who's trying to king you, who's really worthy, you've already put a vibration out from 76 trillion cells. Everybody type 76 trillion cells. Say 76 trillion cells are listening, exclamation point. Everybody type that. 76 trillion cells are listening. 
So every time you open your mouth and say something, you're casting a spell on the 76 trillion cells in your body that are listening to you. And 76 trillion cells working together will say, we're going to project energy that no real good black man can come to you because you're not worthy or you're too fat or your credit's not good enough or you have too many babies or this happened in the past. And all that's your truth. All of that is your truth that you can change at an instant if you stop putting on wall of suffering lotion, wall of suffering deodorant, wall of suffering, what's that, mascara, wall of suffering blush, wall of suffering lipstick, wall of suffering toothpaste. You got all these excuses of why you're not ready. And then what happens after that? You get led out of your lane. And now you can't be led. Now, 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 now you can't be led. Did everybody share this on your page? Who shared this? I'm checking roll call, right? You're giving me all these hearts. But like I said, if you care, you'll share. Did anybody share this? If you haven't shared this, just boss up and put zero and say, I haven't shared it. Because you say, oh, he's teaching strong. But did you share this on your page? Do you know one black woman who needs to hear this besides yourself? Did you share this? If you have, I thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you for inviting friends, Neil. Thank you, Candy, for sharing. Thank you very much. Thank you for uh, networking with me. Thank you, Not. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for caring about another black woman. I made this because I cared about, I care about my mother. I care about my sister, both my sisters, my blood sisters now, my blood sisters who came from the same testicles or same vaginas I came from. Then I also care about my other sisters in the world, period. I care about humanity, but, and I'm tonight I'm getting, cause I don't even be doing the color thing, but tonight I'm getting direct. And this is my part one, cause I gave myself 20 minutes cause I gotta go teach class. I gotta go teach class in my self mastery tantra class. Because you sisters lead everything. You lead spending on the internet. You, you lead social media footprint activity. You lead digital footprint activity. You lead e commerce. You lead it all. Everybody is attracted to, your, to marketing to you. To you. So if you don't value yourself and you're leading the world in being marketed to, but you don't even value yourself, how can kings like me win? This is a plea for me from the kings I represent or from the boys that need to grow up. What about you? When are you gonna stop playing the games? When are you gonna stop being coy? When are you gonna stop self-sabotaging yourself when you gonna st when you gonna start believing that you are beautiful when you gonna stop talking about what happened in the past when you gonna open your umbrella I mean your, your parachute Steve Steve Harvey say I don't even like Steve Harvey but he said your parachute don't um, work unless you jump your wings don't work unless you jump and fly you have all the materials you have all the materials don't you don't let excuses or bad programming or your past be your present day story of suffering as this is the reason why I'm not going to progress. All of you should be easily, easily doing $50,000 a month in income. Your family should have $50,000 a month in income. Do you deserve it? Let me see how many of y'all can type in real quick. I deserve $50,000 a month of income in my family. Let me see, can you type that? And as you're typing it, see, this, see, see how your sales resonate. Are you rejecting it? Are you rejecting the ideal of, of just, just typing it? Huh? I don't know if you can tag during a live video. You can, you can invite a specific person by just hitting the plus bar down at the bottom. 
I deserve $50,000 a month of income in my family. That means you might not make a dime, but if you say your family deserves it, your man may be bringing in 50K a month. I'm talking about profit, not gross. And, and, it, and so now if a man types it, if a man types it and he say he deserves fifty thousand dollars a month in income, but he get with a woman who don't even think she's worth somebody telling him her that she's pretty. I don't think that you should be telling me that I'm pretty, but I need more money in my life. I can't tell you that you're sexy, that you got a big pretty ass, that I want to have sex with you. You think all that's demeaning, but you need more money. But you won't accept the you won't accept the positivity that's coming into you. Mama Kathy, how you doing, Mama? Right. Just think about just think about yourselves. When do you start to feel like I'm worthy? Then you have to start thinking about what was blocking me from typing this easily myself before. So you typed it now because I asked you to type and I made a suggestion. But what in the what in the past was blocking you from believing you were worth 50,000 a month? What was blocking you in the past from believing that you were pretty? Come on, give me some examples. Talk to me. Now give me some feedback. What was blocking you in the past from participating in the positive versus the self-sabotage? Fear of what, Nia? Good answer, but fear of what? Fear of what? You can't just give me you can't, fear of what? Be specific. This is a healing session. Fear of what? And see when it's hard, for you to type in fear of what, or it's hard for you to come up with something, you know that it was um, failure of what? Fear of failure of what? Fear of rejection from who? Fear of rejection from who? Myself was blocking me by living in the past. How was that working out for you, living in the past? Fear of turning around and losing it. Losing what? See, if you aren't specific in your healing, if you aren't specific in what your value is going to be, you can't have it. You can't have it. If you're not specific in your value of what you desire to be, you can't have it. I'm living proof on everything I love. When I don't realize it myself what the specifics is, I don't deserve it and I don't get it. Mm, not loving the old self. Not well at all. Losing the money I was making because of past money mistakes. I was blocking me by focusing on others' expectations of me. Ooh, that's good right there, darling. That's good. To die today I released the fear of generational poverty. That's good. Fear of rejection from friends and family. See, now you're getting specific. So you were specific enough to do a dollar amount of where you want to go. But can you also do a specific blockage of what was holding you up from valuing yourself, from feeling worthy in your, because the number one part in your healing process is your mouth. Are you speaking good things into your cells? Your cells are listening. 76 trillion cells are listening every time you come out and utter something out of your mouth. Okay, maybe you can't control what somebody else is saying about you, but can you control what you are saying about you and what you accept? That's my message for the night. I got to get ready to bounce. I got to go teach another class. I definitely appreciate um, y'all for um, tuning in tonight. I'm going to give y'all a part two on this tomorrow. I have been on here like 30 minutes. I try to keep these joints less than 20. Um, on a scale of one to 10, I always ask, what, would, what do you feel that I did today as far as giving you something to think about? I ain't trying to change how you think, but I am trying to motivate you in what you do. 
I'm sorry, I ain't trying to change how you act, but I'm trying to challenge you to think for yourself. All right. Um, also want to thank everybody who donated to the fundraiser for the Tybro Foundation. The link is below. We already raised over four thousand dollars for the children at um, for the Tybro Foundation. We're trying to get six thousand dollars in the next six days. I mean, we're trying to get another. Now it's only eighteen hundred and fifty dollars that we are short. If you can share that on your page, if you can make another two dollar donation or five dollar donation or anything like that, I would appreciate it. If you've already shared, please share. I mean, if you've already donated, please share it on your page. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. Yeah, and what was the big thing that you got tonight from this uh, from this particular share, part one? Because I'm going to do part two tomorrow during the daytime. I'm going to catch all y'all around the house on Sunday when y'all just sitting here. Yes, yes. And tell the truth. Who shared it? That's what I'm looking for. So, uh, as always, we're going to end it in prayer, and then we're going to take it out. I'm going to holler at y'all tomorrow. And I'm going to call Kijalak Yaminka, Tatiya Tesara, Kabel Renat, Amcha Sagvanu, Tahara Nunara. Nagi boy to share your kadeka, Kavava Shaman, Barkham Tyron, Rakame, the Zika Taker, to meet Gammon, Kasim Kadosh, Badaru Tufka, Nahel out of Taker, Yaki Gahe, Lam Chapane, Zokre Katushka Taker, Shavatanu Kabe, Ushma, Tazaktanu, Yodea, Tyalamot, Burukshim, Kavo Makuto, Alam Vaye. Peace. She said, My fear was a whack ass illusion. I agree. <laughs> All right, peace.